I hope you're all surviving lockdown okay. I'm just about hanging in there. Uh, it'd be nice to it'd be nice to be able to travel for every field uh, soon I hope. Um, finished off four knives this week. Uh, a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, the first one up is an extra large classic and I'll compare it in size to a a standard sized knife. The extra large is above and the standard size is here. So there is the extra large classic. Let's see if I can move in and get a good focus on it. Stabilised uh, yew wood, tapered tang. The camera's trying to focus on my face. Uh, Red G10 liners. So that's uh, yeah, an extra large classic. I don't I don't build many of them. Next one. Next one up is uh, is this standard size classic in uh, in stabilised yew wood, and this was built for Marcus. Uh, Marcus was the the chap that sent me the wood. Thanks for that, Marcus. It's uh, it's come out really well. Uh, your knife again. Uh, this time, hunter orange thread on the sheath. All the knives have got danglers. There's the knife. So again, let's move in, get a nice uh, look at the blade. Lovely stabilised wood. You can see the uh, tapered tang there, uh, and also uh, the Hunter Orange liners. Let's see if I can get that camera to stay focused at that point. should stay focused at that point now. Let's see if I can uh, blur my ugly face out of it a bit. Tapered tang as I say, 4mm knife going down to uh, just under 2mm. So that one is for Marcus. Bring me back into focus again. Next knife up is this one. I think this has got a bio waiting for it. I'm not sure. If not, then I'll be putting it on the website. Uh, I need to contact that person to uh, see if they want it or not. Another classic standard size 4mm. Again, level work has a dangler, red thread on the sheath, so it'll have uh, red liners. So there is the knife. So it's a four mil blade, tapering down to under two mil at the back. Stabilised wood. I'm not sure again what the wood is. Uh, I've got a feeling it's, I don't know, some sort of a maple. Very, very hard, very dense, very robust uh, handle material. Yeah, moving into focus again. So that's that one. And lastly, uh, this was a never build for a customer. Shane, he asked me for a camp knife. 
So I built the, the camp knife up, uh, but I made it with a slightly longer blade and um, the standard sheath isn't quite long enough for it. I feel that the retention could be a bit better, to be honest. So I'm not ready to send this one out yet. If you're watching Shane, I'm going to have to rebuild the sheath and make it a bit longer. Um, but I'll show you the knife anyway. And you see it's got a longer blade. It hardly fits in the frame. So this is a, a full tang 4mm knife. Let's see if I can get that focus to stay locked on there. So this one's got yellow uh, G10 liners, stabilised massa birch with quad mosaic pins. Here's a look at the blade. So a nice knife, and just a bit disappointed with the uh, the sheath retention it's not as good as I'd like it that could uh, it could fall out I mean it holds it in I mean you can let me know if you um, if you're happy to have a that well it's not that bad actually it's not that bad Anyway, that's it. I might have to read and do another sheaf. I'll see what you think. So that just about, um, so that but just about ties this this short video up for now. Uh, in the workshop, I'm working on six more in the large batch of classics that I was working on tapered tang classics. Then I think I've got some three mil stock. I'll probably start working on a few neck knives because I've got a few. Um, people interested in those uh, and apart from that uh, we're just looking forward to the springtime I think and when we can uh, when when we can all get out and enjoy some more freedoms again of traveling around uh, I've it'd be nice to be able to go and do some more wild camping again get out in the woods experience nature see some different places ride my motorcycles uh, I think it'll all happen in time we've just got to be patient and just muddle on through as best we can in the meantime anyway thanks for watching this video just a short one i'll see you in the next one bye for now